Hey everybody, it's Sunny Respiratory Flux, call me Flux for short, or whatever you want to call me. And in the last episode, we went to the top of the mountain, got our spin attack, got our magic meter, came back down, got our uh, dense fire, got a skull mask, got a couple pieces of heart probably, at least one. In this episode, let's just do this. This is the Bomb Chew Bowling Alley, and it is going to be fun. Customer, welcome to our cutting edge amusement center, Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. You want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. Can't tell you until you've paid to play. Oh, now well, that's a trap if I ever saw one. 30 rupees per game? Yeah. Oh, I've skipped over the rules accidentally, but I can explain them better than the game probably can. Here's what you can win Peace of Heart. Nice. There are two prizes that you actually want, and there's also just rupees. Basically, bomb shoes are bombs that crawl along floors and walls and everything, and you basically want to get the bomb shoe in the little hole. It's not as easy as it sounds. Especially because for some reason. Link kind of doesn't always face the, dire the exact direction you want him to. Like any other bowling video game, you can turn better than this. See, it always goes just slightly aside. The second of the three holes you have to hit is almost always one of the worst, for some reason. And I know there are tricks that you can help use to help you do this, help you aim this, but it's... I didn't really remind myself of them before I picked up the controller today, so... Oh boy. Now this last one... You can't go right down the middle, but there's that big chicken in the way, so you have to time between the blade trap and all the chickens. Or you can try and angle it off the sides, but that's prone to go whatever way it wants to. Um, of course, the chickens are also prone to go whichever way they want to. So, yeah, there's a reason why nobody likes this game. This minigame, rather. Also, it's because it's... Yeah, you just win bombs. Like, who cares about this one? Like, if just winning bombs... The rupees can be helpful because it can help you afford... Okay, see, this is a di this is one that's not that bad because you just have to worry about... One trap... One chicken. Chicken, get out of the way. Also, the blade... The sliding blade trap is... <laughs> Seriously? Also, if you bomb the chicken, it will stay in place for a few seconds because for some reason it thinks it doesn't get the hint to get out of the way of where you're trying to bow bowl the bomb choose. <laughs> Seriously, chicken. 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 I'm so worried about the chicken that it's throwing off my, ba my timing with the blades. Okay. And if you go along the wall, you want to make it so that it gets to the... It gets to the target at the... Elevation. Also, this is a skill that you almost never actually need in the game because... <laughs> oh, God. Um, sorry about that. I'm probably going to have to edit that out, or at least make it quieter. Um. Because I was facing directly away from my microphone, and I won on the one that didn't even matter. 
Lovely. Yeah, you just got bombs. It, yes, this is the other good prize you can get. You can get a piece of heart, and you can get a larger bomb bag, which is... That is... If we can get this, we can actually get both of the bomb bag increases and both of the... Got both of the slingshot bullet increases. Now we're, we're almost at the second bomb bag increase. Most things in this game can be upgraded twice, if I've noticed. It's just a nice round number, I guess. Um, it's like you can upgrade your slingshot capacity twice, bomb bag twice. Uh, that's gonna re see seriously, whatever, it, whatever, whenever it gets to that corner, it sometimes just decides to do whatever it wants rather than actually going anywhere that makes sense. <laughs> Probably the collision on the corners is a little wonky. Going right down the middle is risky because of the chickens, and so I know a lot of people don't like to do that. Especially because you kind of have to lead the shot a little bit with the blade trap. Oh! Well, that's two tries I've won, but only one of the good prizes. But we got the biggest bomb bag. It can carry up to 40 bombs. Yes, we want to play again. Here's what we can win. 50 rupees, which, as I've said, the rupee prize is better than the bomb prize because you can actually get more rupees back that you would spend for playing. But the fact that it picks the prize randomly is kind of irritating, honestly. And it just makes this even more annoying because it's like, oh, not only do you have to win an annoying to win minigame, you have to also do that on a turn when, it's, when it says, hey, here's what your prize is going to be. It's not like other mini games in these games wherever prizes that you can get are based off of how many you just get one prize for beating it once and then sometimes a second prize for beating it a second time but I don't I don't know I mean I've won it three times in a row so I probably don't have too much, too much right to be complaining but trying to get that um piece of heart is going to be Oh, and you can also just win Bomb Chew, which is not actually that big of a... Not that bad, because you do actually need Bomb Chew to beat the game. In one or two... I think, like, two places in the game you need them. But in the places where you need them, it will actually give them to you, like, when you need them. So... But you can carry them as soon as you have a bomb bag. Well, technically, I don't think the game even necessarily requires you to have a bomb bag to carry them. Because I've seen people get bomb chew before a bomb bag in the randomizers. Problem is... Um... The problem with that is, though, that... In this... in the At least as the game intends th things to be obtainable... You have to... Um... That's not... That was weird. You have to actually have the bomb bag before you can actually obtain them in the, in the standard order of, of doing the game. So, yeah. That makes it a little bit more... Okay, here's the piece of heart, so I have to win this one. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, I don't know. I've talked enough about how nobody likes this particular minigame, and I don't think I really need to say much more on that. Oh. <laughs> if that chicken hadn't wandered into the middle, 
I would have actually won that, like, just in the fast, probably, like, one of the fastest times possible. It's just kind of silly how you can... Okay. Can I try and angle it off the walls? I'm really bad at the angling off of the walls! Okay. Um... That's it. We've d we finished the Bonchu Bowling Alley, and I didn't run out of things to talk about. Oh, sh I pressed B, not A, you dingus. Well, I might as well just... I don't need the bombs, so... You can't leave until you... Yeah. No, I do not want to play again. Okay. But I, I... See, that took almost all of my money, and I had a nearly full wallet. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. And even with that 50 rupee prize you can get, it's really not worth playing if you've beaten the... If you've... Once, you, once you've gotten the good prizes from it, it's not worth playing ever. Yeah, I don't know. I think I... <laughs> I feel like I've run out of ways to say nobody likes the bomb chew bowling. And still sounding somewhat original. Um, fortunately, there's easy rupee farming spots right here. Like, just inside the, the, the bridge. Just inside the drawbridge. On the drawbridge. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, can I get up this chain? It's been... long enough since I played this. Yeah. I feel like that'll do for now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But what I'm going to do now is actually... something a little bit different. I'm gonna go back... <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm putting off doing the plot once again. How original. But no, I'm going to... I'm going to go back to Kokiri Forest. And there are a few more things that we can do there with some things that we have now. And... I could have done one or two of them when I was here before, but I, I'm i doing this for a reason. You'll probably be able to figure out what that reason is, but it's... yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until after dark. Because it's almost dark, so I don't really feel like I need to play the sun song. Yep, see? It's now nighttime. So now, if I go into Kokiri Forest at night, there are going to be some Sculptulas that we can get. Um, like this one. Oh, wow. Uh, I... I honestly probably should be saying more. Um, there are also going to be some that we can't get quite yet in here, I'm pretty sure. I don't... I don't remember off the top of my head where every single sculpture in the game is, but I know there's... I'm pretty sure there's at least one in Kokiri Forest that is currently out of our reach, and we will have to come back here again any... Anyway, because there are still some in the... In the Great Deku Tree that we can't get. Yeah. That's just... Um... Actually... I thought there was one there. I guess not quite at this point in the game. Anyway. But one thing we want to do here. There's a patch of dirt here. We want... We can... Pull out our bug. Yes. This... This is a thing that'll happen over and over again. 
I think this is one where you can do this. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's only one patch of dirt in the game that doesn't have a gold sculpture in it. And it's not this one. But I'm... Okay. I guess I'm wrong. There aren't... There is not a golden sculpture line in this patch. Good thing I got my bugs back. That's... I, I don't know. The, the patches, of, the soft patches of dirt are kind of weird. It's like it's you don't really have a visual indicator of whether one is going to give you a golden sculpture or not. That one just happens to not. Um, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I just don't really get it. But anyway. You want to go this way first. Don't go the other way yet. We want to head over this way. We're not going to see Saria, because Navi was just hinting at being able to play Saria's song to do stuff. You want to go in this way, which is actually kind of weird, because it's not a typical thing. Sell you Deku Nuts. Uh, I didn't... I was, I was pressing... Apparently pressing B... Even when you're on a thing. Yeah. We don't really need to buy this stuff. But. There's a patch of soft dirt here. And this one, I believe, does give you a golden sculpture. So it's worth your time to come here. And again, make sure you catch your bugs once you're done. Yep, that gives us golden sculpture, but there's one more thing we want to do here. Go over here where these butterflies are gathered, and there's a hole kind of hidden underneath the grass. Now here, you want to equip, of all things, the skull mask. You need to have this for a stage where you can see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. Basically, this is where you show off your masks, and different masks will get a different response. This one is actually... An interesting one. Um, the they are crowding around me, and they really like this mask for some reason. Um, all of the young Deku Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. Also enhance your carrying skills. Uh. Can now pick up more Deku sticks. So now that so that's our second upgrade on Deku stick carrying capacity. We're just getting all sorts of upgrades. Um, I believe there's actually one more thing we can do like this. Um, I can't remember which of these it is. Um, I I only remember this because I've seen it on randomizers recently. So that might be telling you something about how. Oh. Um. Well, good thing we have lots of bombs, because that's nearly not that big of a deal. I think, yeah, this one. This bomb, bombable rock, has a grotto beneath it, and that is going to have a business scrub. Or two. And this one, I surrender. Make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku nuts, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Sure. That's basically all of my rupees, but now we can carry you can carry a lot more Deku nuts. This this one is just selling you Deku seeds, which we don't need. And we don't I don't think we could even afford them anyway. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's um. That's one thing we can do here. So we what we want to do now is leave the Lost Woods and go back in. And now we go the other way. And there's one, a couple more things we can do here. First, talk to this guy. He's like, do you think my face is kind of plain? It's just not very unusual. So now we talk to him with the skull mask on. And 
under that mask. Aren't you that Kokiri kid? Um, why are you coming this way? Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee hee hee. I like it. It may look, make me look a bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? You want to give him this mask. Because he's the one who wants that mask. He gave you ten, just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. It's inevitable. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20, 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your own pocket. Fortunately, that's the only mask that, that, that does that. Also, you want to do that after you've played the, played Saria's song for him. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can't do it before he plays Saria's song. Because he goes away. So, anyway. But here's another patch of soft dirt. I think this one has a golden sculptula. I'm not sure. And then I'm pretty sure I got the, day, the business scrub over this way before. Yeah, because... Because, yeah, he... Because we just increased our... Max out our carrying capacity for sticks and nuts. And that has a stick upgrade, I believe. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't go away permanently. He's just here. Okay. That's... Okay. So, I was giving you false information. My bad. Anyway. That's... We did a lot of running around and gathering gathering some upgrades in this episode. So, next time, what say you we do some more? Actually, no. We are going to actually progress the story next time and go to where the game wants us to go. It hasn't said it yet, but we need the third spiritual stone... We have ones. We have the one from the Kukiri Forest. We have one from Death Mountain where the Gorons are. Now we just need the Spiritual Stone of Water, which, in order to do that, we must make our way up Zora's River. So, I will see you next time when we will do just that. This has been Somni Respiratory Flux. Respond, vibrate, feedback, resonate in the comments below. Tell me how you think I did. All of that. And next time, we will make our way up Zora's River. See you guys then. And may the good elephant guide your way. And may you watch out for the swift current and strong undertow.